Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we are revisiting Hellish Court, the most realistic sword fighting game. Uh, they had a big update and added a really cool character, because according to the update, he is supposed to be the main character of the game, and that character is Yasik. He is literally Koi Fish if Koi Fish was actually a really cool guy. So Yasik is a really, really good character to play. He's super versatile, has a lot of combos, and in my experience, this game has a a lot of trading i've experienced that yasek usually ends up winning the trade like both characters get injured but somehow he survives i don't know if like the characters have different hp uh, values i don't think they do but something about yasek maybe the way he's built he's built different maybe so i'm playing yasek to the left and uh, as you can see i'm gonna showcase some com some combos and like his abilities and what he can do so let me show you one of the coolest combos i've seen in this game so far yeah, you see that combo? That's a four button combo right there. Watch this. He's got access to some good stabs like this. Yeah, right there. Some good overhead swings like this. See, right there. And again, he wins the trade. Some other sneaky combos like this. Yeah, that combo right there, even though, yeah, I used it in the wrong spot. But yeah, overall, I just think he's a really versatile and useful character. We're gonna be doing the arcade mode to uh, pit him against the current boss of the game, and we'll see how he fares against him. And then we'll take him for a survival run to see if he can actually beat uh, the record of uh, Isabella, the current uh, record holder. But we'll get to that in a second, because we are gonna hear a quick word from today's sponsor, Dungeon Hunter 6. Dungeon Hunter 6 is the newest installment in the classic hack and slash franchise. It's a free-to-play mobile ARPG where you play as a bounty hunter, completely customizable with a variety of skill tree options with multiple possible classes where you hunt bosses through different levels. There's both a PvE and PvP mode and that includes guild wars and guild raids for multiplayer. In Dungeon Hunter 6, you don't just get to hunt bosses, you can even dominate them and make them serve you. The game has a unique mechanic where you can ride and fly slain bosses and you can also summon up to three of them onto the battlefield as squad members, making them follow you anywhere and performing combo skills. You can even shapeshift into them and harness their powers in the late game. The game is very well optimized for a smooth mobile gaming experience with great 3D graphics so you can have both an awesome visual experience and great gameplay. So if you want to try out Dungeon Hunter 6 then I have an awesome starter pack for you worth $50 which includes 10 summoning scrolls, one SSR lieutenant the demonic wolf and one accessory pack. Also you will have the chance to enter a lucky spin event where you can win great prizes like the iPhone 15 Pro Max, a PS5 and more. All you have to do is click the link in the description below or scan the QR code visible on screen right now. Enjoy the game and thank you Dungeon Hunter 6 for supporting the channel. Now, let's go take on the boss. Killed opponents? The news of Samuel Zborowski's return spread quickly. Jacek Dedinsky knew that sooner or later someone would pay him to get rid of the infamous swashbuckler. He wasn't wrong. Yo, he's a mercenary? Bruh. Was this character made just for me? <laughs> Jakub Sienenski offered a hefty sum for Samuel's head and Jacek took the job, especially since he had his own unsettled score with Samuel. Ooh. Yendrik, I, I showcased this guy last video. He's a very fun character to play. You got him with a cut there, so his stamina is lowered. One, two, three. Flawless, actually. Alexander can be a really scary guy to face, but I think with a stab, we're gonna be able to get him. Okay, closing him in. Nice! We did get hit, but it wasn't deep enough to kill. Ooh, he got me, damn. Again, he gets me. I told you, Alexander can be really scary to face. Alright, we'll get him now. Watch this. Boom! Got him! Yo! He got me in the face and that didn't kill me! Oh my god, Yasek is a real tank! See what I told you about him winning trades somehow? I don't understand how he does it, but he wins trades more often. Alright, we've got another rapier user, of course, man. I wish rapier users nothing but a bad day. Boom! Got her with their weaknesses, but literally just stepped to the side and slashed. Boom! Got her at her own game. Gideon? Mm, not, I, I don't mind facing Gideon. He's not that hard. Holy hell! That guy took a beating. Ooh! That was the three-button combo that I talked about earlier. 
Boom. He tried it. He tried to execute me, but it didn't work. <laughs> Father's Dara. <laughs> the alcoholic. Let's see if an alcoholic can beat the new character. <laughs> an alcoholic man with a two-handed sword is really scary to face, isn't it? Nice. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Blur that. Blur that, editor. Blur that. Upskirt moment. Let's bait in a swing. Ooh, he actually... Ooh, that was close. Just got him in the legs. Boom. Lowered his guard. Straight to the face. Ooh, got him. Marie, oh my god, I hate facing Marie, man. She's the real, like, rapier character. We'll get her, though. We'll get her, though. Believe in Yasek and his sidestepping abilities. Let's see. Get sidestepped. <laughs> Alright, I didn't sidestep fast enough. Nice! That was little. That was such a perfect sidestep. Oh my god. Can we get a replay on that one, editor? And we got to the boss, Samuel. Let's see how the new character faces against the boss. Man, my pronouns are he but not him because I could never be him. Nice, nice. Okay. The boss is really well armored, so you gotta. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Got his legs. Yo! Okay. You gotta get through his armor to actually kill him. So I mean, in every round, you have to get through the, through his armor. Mm. All right. It begins. I need to get into the tempo of the boss again. My God. All right. Let's see how many retries it takes me to to get the boss. That's number one. Got him. Oh! Perfect sidestep into the combo. Is this gonna be the one? No, no, come on. Oh my god, he styled on me, man. All right, it's down to this match point. Oh, that was so close. I went under his sword, man. Okay, I got him. I went under his sword again. Oh, what a move. That's his advanced square move, by the way, when he ha he's in his second stance with his left foot forward. He does like a fake out and then he slashes from the side. Such a good move. I barely used it when I was training with this character, but oh my god, that was really useful. If this is your first time seeing the boss, there is a phase two. And the cool thing about phase two is that you both have one chance. Let's see. First try. Nice! Let's go! You can actually see the slash across his chest that actually got him. You see that? You see the blood? Hell yeah, though. We, we first tried the boss. Let's go. See, that's why I told you. Yasek is a pretty strong character. Yasek returned, richer with a substantial reward. He wasn't happy about it, though. It wasn't how it was supposed to end. Samuel killed many people before Yasek got him. And what Yasek saw in dying man's eyes, was it regret? Maybe it's best to not think about it too much. Tomorrow, surely someone will want to pay for Yasek's skills again. After all, they call him the first saber of the commonwealth, and there is always a need for his services. Oh my, I was already so hyped about this character, but then it's revealed that he's a mercenary? Please, the hellish core. I can only get so hard all right so with the boss done let's actually take him for a survival run the lifetime record right now is 17 with isabella so let's see if yasek i can hold up to her or even beat her record let's go boom that's one done and that's the second one going smoothly so far never mind i jinxed it got him i was too aggressive in this match but yeah i just gotta chill for a bit that guy in red, like, his biggest weakness is, like, an advancing stab. <laughs> if you can muster that, you can kill him. If your character can do that, you can kill him. Oh, there she is. Isabella. Got her. I know how she, how she plays, so it's not that hard for me to counter her. That's the problem with Father Zera. His attacks are really powerful, but they're really slow. So you can just step out of them and then advance for a kill. Got her. Let's go. Oh, Yasek versus the old Yasek. Let's see who wins. Yep, new Yasek all the way. Ooh, that was a trade though. Mm, he slashed me into the chest. Boom. All right, starting to get a bit nervous because uh, we got one chance now. No, come on, man. Mm, Reap your users. All right, let's try it again. Let's give him another chance.
Ain't no way, man. I lost it three. <laughs> I'm getting a bit impatient, that's my problem. You know what, let's try it one last time. And this time I'm gonna just be in the zone, play defensively, and uh, react to my opponent's plays. No more impatience, okay? Boom! <laughs> I just swung at him. We were both so out of stamina that I just swung and won. Alright, let's test out the swinging trick. If you just swing at this guy, you if you stab at this guy, you win. Yeah, just like that. There's nothing he can do. Why do oh, people yeah. go for these, like, experimental offensive stances, bro? You're not gonna survive it if the other guy <laughs> just stabs. Let's not get impatient here. Let's not get impatient. There we go. An opportunity will present itself if I just be patient. Got him. That is such a dirty move, by the way. Man can't move. I got his leg. Man can't move. Got him. Let's go. Hey, Samuel. Okay, let's try him. What was that? Did he get into a seizure or something? He was fainting like crazy. Let's be patient. Patient. Got him. Boom. Yeah, Father Zera is really oh, yeah. easy to read. Here's Kalkstein. He's a bit tricky to deal with, not gonna lie. I'm gonna try something though. When he swings, I go. Yikes! He hit my, my sword, so I couldn't go immediately. This is the one I'm talking about. <laughs> it's faster and I, I feel like he leaves more distance between him and the, the opponent. Alright, old man, let's see. Show me. Show me how it's done, old man. Got him! Haha! <laughs> yeah, patience is the key, honestly. Hello, Samuel. Got him. This is what I love about this game, man. Like, fights are done and decided by one swing. One mistake and it's over for you. No! No! Oh my god! Dude, if his axe wasn't blunt on the wooden part, that was oh, that would have been over for me. If that was a sword I would have lost. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Literally the easiest person to fight in this game. All right, patience. We're at 12 now. Let's not lose it. Nice. Let's go. I'm starting to choke a bit, not gonna lie. And now they're sending rapiers at me. Oh, the sidestep works again. Oh my God, it's this guy. Just be patient. Nice. Oh, mirror match. Is he gonna stop me? Was the merc sent for me? Okay, nice. <laughs> Permanent leg injury. Patience, patience, patience. Patience is the mantra right now. Thought he was gonna advance there. Nice! Alright, well, at least we've tied it. We've tied it with Isabella with 17. Now let's see if we can beat her. No, no choking, come on. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh no, dude! I choked, I choked, I choked. But hey, at least we've managed to tie it with Isabella in three chances, which all the characters I review get in survival. So now we've got in the lead Isabella and Yasek. So that's gonna be it for uh, Yasek. Well, pretty cool fighter, not gonna lie. I really, really like him and I like the direction that the game is uh, going. They've started working on cutscenes for a story mode, which is this one. Let me show you what that looks like real quick also let's check out the characters that they're working on because they do like tease their characters in the character selection screen we did see this guy before you see him i think he's gonna be some sort of pirate honestly unless you guys know what he could be and i wonder if that dagger look at that <laughs> yeah you see when he pulls that out i wonder if that's gonna be part of his kit if that's gonna be part of his kit i'm so excited to try him out he's gonna be so fun they also added that one character like the bot in the bottom i can't uh, select her or like hover her or anything but uh yeah she seems really cool they also added this guy that's between yasek and the the pirate looking guy uh he looks like some sort of mayor or something well i wonder what they're gonna do with that and also they've got this guy who looks like a conquistador in my opinion damn yeah that's a cool guy but i'm i'm mostly excited for this one right here <laughs> so yeah that's gonna be it for this video a hellish core always fun to play i hope you guys enjoyed the videos as, as much as i enjoyed making it and i'll see you guys guys in the next one. Much love, bye bye Yo, who's that? Shadow Master MC. No, the crush bones and make me look.